news source. This is Fox 59 First at Four. Our top story here first at four charges have been filed in a deadly hit and run on the city's east side. This man right here that you see, Stephen Moore, is accused of falling asleep behind the wheel before that crash. Thanks for joining us here first at four. I'm Max Lewis. And I'm Nick McGill. Fox 9's Jesse Wells explains how police were able to find this suspect just minutes after that crash. After causing the deadly crash here on Shadeland behind me, multiple witnesses told police the suspect jumped this chain link fence before running away from the scene. The suspect quickly sprinted past IMPD's East District headquarters before he was found a half mile away hiding in the stall of this car wash where he was quickly taken into custody. Driving home from work with his father in this white Ford Friday night, Mario Villarreal died when police say the driver of this white Jeep crossed the center line and caused a deadly collision. The suspect, Stephen Moore, is now charged with leaving the scene of a deadly crash. Witnesses claim Moore appeared to fall asleep behind the wheel before the crash. When officers found Moore, police say he had bloodshot eyes and smelled of alcohol. These are preventable. These are 100% preventable by smart choices of not getting behind the wheel impaired. Devin McDonald with Indiana's Criminal Justice Institute says the case is one of nearly 400 deadly crashes in the state so far this year, a number that has been on the rise in recent years. It's a huge issue. It's a growing issue. We're actually outpacing what we were in 2021, 2020, and 2019. According to this affidavit, the suspect confessed he ran from the scene because he was nervous and and admitted he hypothetically had a beer, taken Xanax, and smoked weed before the crash. Court records also show Moore has been charged with intoxicated driving five other times over the last decade, all in Bartholomew County. Heading into the 4th of July weekend, McDonald hopes everyone on the roads remembers that driving under the influence can easily turn deadly. 4th of July weekend is part of what we call the 100 deadliest days of summer, where we see a huge increase in the number of acts, crashes, uh, fatal crashes that occur. Well, one of the big messages I have is, is it's all about choices. Following an initial court hearing, Moore is now being held on a $200,000 bond at the Marion County Jail. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Now to a Fox 59 crime tracker. We're working to learn more about a